Hey guys, it's me, Desiree Marie, and I'm back. As you can see, I am at my parents' house. <laughs> um, yeah, this week I am actually house sitting because my parents are away on vacation, and I'm on vacation this week, so I have lots of time to just, you know, do me, do what I want to do um, while uh, spending time with my siblings. So. I was just having a moment here with God like I woke up I decided okay I'm gonna wake up you know drink some coffee and get my day started because I have a few things that I have to get done today but I just wanted to bring the camera up and like you know share this moment with you guys because you guys have been you know really faithful been on this journey with me um, since I've been vlogging and I'm so grateful that a lot of you have said that you know it's really inspirational it's helpful to your lives as well so I was just having a moment like so you guys know um, you know the last vlog well the last few vlogs I've been talking about enjoying life and just making the decision every day to be happy to enjoy life to trust God to wake up trust God and enjoy life wake up trust God enjoy life repeat you know and I was just sitting here in amazement for how my summer has turned around because of that one decision I can't emphasize it enough I can't I can't emphasize it enough how my summer has changed due to that decision um, the beginning of July was hard for me I went through a breakup um, that I initiated because I evaluated what was really important to me as an adult, as someone who's moving forward in life. And moving really changed my mindset and really made me look at things in a different perspective. And, you know, now I'm an adult, so there are some qualities that are more important to me, you know, and I don't want to just be foolishly, you know, spending time doing things that you know, that are not geared towards towards the future so I decided to let go of my last relationship so I was torn like I you know the beginning of July was so hard for me I was crying a lot I was evaluating my life a lot thinking about you know you guys see me talking about I'm not where I want to be right now I didn't think I would be here um, you know, years ago, I, I looked at my 20s like, oh, I'd have it all together, but I look at my life now and it's nowhere near there, but it was a really hard time for me. It was hard. It, you know, July was a hard month. I didn't really show it to you guys, but July was really hard. July was a, a month where I, I, I felt discouraged. I felt defeated. I felt depressed most of the time. I felt alone. I felt like I was in a pit. I felt like I had nobody. But then I had an epiphany. I said, Desiree, you're going to wake up every day and you're going to trust God. You're going to wake up every day and you're going to trust God. And so I did that. I woke up every day. I trusted God. Woke up every day. I trusted God made up my mind I'm going to trust God with this day I'm going to trust God with my emotions I'm going to trust God with my fears my inadequacies my insecurities whatever I'm going to trust God I'm going to wake up I'm going to trust God and then I, I added another thing to it I'm going to wake up I'm going to trust God I'm going to enjoy my life I'm going to wake up I'm going to trust God and I'm going to enjoy my life so you know what what I did I made a decision to enjoy my life and I made a very intention. I made it very intentional to enjoy my life. Every day, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do something that I love to do. I'm gonna do something that makes me excited. You know, even if it's a boring day, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna do something fun. Whether it's going to an event or just simply browsing online on my favorite YouTubers, like whatever or even looking up a great recipe for me to eat and enjoy at home. I'm gonna enjoy my life. So I broke out my planner book, and you know when my planner book comes out, you know it's official. 
whatever I write in there it's official I'm gonna do it so I broke up my broke out my planner book and I just started looking for free events all over New York City free events and there were so many free events there still are but I love to live here because there's so much going on like no one can be lonely unless you choose to be out here in New York so I packed out my schedule I said no I'm gonna enjoy my life even if I'm the only person going I'm going to present myself and be happy and enjoy the moment so I started going to concerts I started going out and enjoying myself you know me and my camera or just me just taking in the experience and that's when things started turning around that one decision I started putting myself out there to enjoy myself I started enjoying my myself in my own apartment playing the music that I love and just dancing and having a good time even if I had no plans or no one to go out with and my life has changed totally turned around you know and the thing is I added enjoy my life to the wake up trust guide I added that in the month of August because I said no 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 there's no way that my summer is going to be all doom and gloom I'm not gonna allow my summer to go down like that July was that way but I'm not going to allow August to be that way I'm not gonna waste my life I made a decision I said no my summer will not be this way my second half of the summer will be amazing and I, I just said that I said that out of faith just faith and I just started saying you know what every day I'm gonna wake up trust God and enjoy my life and I made you know I, I was very intentious or intentional <laughs> and I opened myself up to you know enjoying life and a lot of that had to do with letting go I've been reading this book um, called let it go <laughs> literally let it go by T.D. Jakes and it was so life-changing to me. I, w I, I spent all summer reading that book. I read very slowly, but I really wanted to get every nugget out of that book. And that book has totally changed everything. Like, I, I feel like that book needs to be read, like, at least four times a, a year. Because it's very, very, it's very important. Like, letting go, letting go of offenses, letting go of past hurts letting go of a lot of things just to live a, a happy life you know august was all about enjoying my life and and being happy being happy not waiting on other people to make me happy not waiting on having plans with friends to make me happy but just making a decision and taking the initiative to be happy and make myself happy so i had to let go of the past pain and the hurt that i felt you know, I had to let go of guilt um, of ending, you know, my past relationship. Because I've never done that. And I never liked to do that. But I had to be honest with myself. I, I let go of past pains and even, you know, th things with family that I was struggling with. I just let that thing go. And the thing that has really helped me to let, let, you know, let it go, let things go was just enjoying my life, just the, making the decision to have my own life, to make my own plans, to enjoy my life, so that I'm not thinking about all these other things. Like, I'm not overwhelmed with what this person is doing, what that person is doing. No, I'm out having a good time, so much so that it doesn't even matter to me anymore, the things that you've done to me, you know? So, um, yeah, my, my summer has turned around. I started um, rekindling things with my friends from high school, which I I love these girls. Like these are my girls. These are my core girls. Like you guys seen Girls Trip? Those are my girls. Like each and every one of us. Those are my girls. Um, and I started dating again. <laughs> so that you know that it's been awesome. It's been awesome. I've I've just allowed myself to and a lot of people say it's like the law of attraction the universe i believe that's to a certain extent i i still believe in god god is the one that sets things up so it, it's amazing how when you exude happiness you allow good things to come to you but when you're depressed when you're low when you're sad when you're mopey when you're complaining all the time and you're not enjoying your life you don't attract anything. You, you, you stay in a lonely place. So when I decided to be happy 
enjoy myself and enjoy my life put myself together and be cute and happy that's when I started attracting happiness into my life I started going out with my friends and and going out on the boat rides and having fun at the parties this summer and allowing myself to meet new people to meet new new people and date a little bit and not take myself so darn seriously oh my goodness the way I take myself so seriously it's been it, it, you know this summer has really shown me that I take my life just too seriously and I don't want to be that uptight Christian <laughs> and I know some people will really agree with this but yeah I've, I've taken myself just too seriously and when you take yourself too seriously you become that uptight Christian you're always thinking about your pain your your hurts you know the the, the long journey that you have yet to go on you're always thinking about your flaws and just you're just thinking so much about what's wrong with your life that you don't make the choice to be happy and just be happy on the journey yeah you're not perfect but you can be happy on the journey so I even made a video on Instagram um, stories I wish I had saved it I thought I did but I guess I didn't but I was just talking about how we as Christians take our lives just so seriously and we're always thinking about our flaws, our hurts, our problems, our issues. And then we sing songs about it that talk about it even more. Oh, nobody told me the road would be easy. And all these songs. We sing that all day and it just amplifies our flaws and makes us even more aware that we have flaws. And then it makes our lives very miserable. So even some songs that you know you consider to be Christian songs they may not be the type of songs you want to sing all the time because they will really have you in that in your feelings like for real I know myself and I know that certain songs uh, Christian songs even put me in my feelings and make me feel very helpless and, and, and weak and wimpy and oh woe is me singing about my issues all day no put on a good song you know it's okay to mix it up put on a Bruno Mars song and dance a little bit you know have fun let go let yourself go and that's one of the lessons that I've learned let it go let it go let yourself go be free be free enjoy yourself be free and happy let it all go and enjoy yourself let your hair down <laughs> enjoy yourself enjoy life you know be smart but enjoy life so that's where that's where I am today and I was just thinking about those things over my my cup of coffee and this is you know it's cool it says um pray without ceasing from this first Thessalonians 517 so I just decided you know what it's a good cup to, to talk to God over and I was just, I was, I, I'm just beaming with, ex like, guys, I haven't been this happy and excited in a long time. And it's just, it's an epiphany to me. I'm taking myself way too seriously. Yes, I should think about my, you know, take, you know, there are some things that you should take seriously, you know, as an adult. But as an adult, we take things a, a little too seriously and we don't allow ourselves to enjoy our lives oh. so I have to remember not to rest my finger on a certain part of my camera because the microphone was just off but yeah I was just sitting here beaming with excitement and just thinking about how it's been a long time since I've been so happy and so free and so filled with joy and I can only give credit to God and it's amazing if you just make that one decision just one decision to trust God and enjoy your life and you think about that decision every day that you wake up your life will be changed so if you're in a pit right now you're depressed you're in a place where you don't feel like you're enjoying your life to the fullest it's not too late it's not too late to to, to reverse all of that even if it's been years of doom and gloom for you it's not too late to stop shake yourself up and make a new decision for your life because it doesn't make sense being here on this earth and wasting your years and your vital years your good years your youthful years no 
being in a place where you're unhappy. Life is meant to be lived, to, to be enjoyed. And I think that God gets a lot of glory out of seeing us happy. Yeah, there are certain things that maybe we may think makes us happy, but he doesn't. But he wants to see us smile. You know, he's, a, he's our parent. And what parent doesn't want to see their children happy and smiling and radiant with joy? He wants to see us enjoy our lives. So guys, I just thought I would come here on camera and, and share, you know, be a little bit more um, personal because I have not talked about, you know, a breakup and, and dating. <laughs> but I will let you in a little bit more on that when the time comes. Um, yeah, guys, but thank you for watching this video. As you see, I'm here with my scarf. I didn't even get my day really started yet, yet, yet. And I didn't even finish my coffee. I'm over here talking to you guys. But I just, I, I, I wanted to share with my friends. So I hope that you were inspired and encouraged. And if you have any video requests, any topics that you'd like for me to talk about, let me know down below so that I can make a video for you and we can talk, you know? And if you have a problem, I'd love to maybe give some of my advice and um and do that you know i've done that for one subscriber and it's been awesome so yeah guys um so my plans for the rest of the day is to get up get myself together i'm supposed to go return that curtain remember the curtain that i got that super white curtain that doesn't go with my beige pretty much beige walls well i know some of you guys said oh no keep it I am actually gonna go back and return it so I'm gonna go back return it um, I'm supposed to go with my brother because he wanted to go out there to the mall too um, yeah and just go um, go home clean up a bit um, I already paid my rent for this for next month thank you Jesus so um, everything is good over there as far as bills is concerned um, yeah and later on I got plans I got plans so guys thank you for watching I'm going to end the vlog here but of course you know I have more on the way <laughs> so yes guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog enjoy your life and have a great day bye